Okay, Larry, it's time for the theme song. Um, yeah, Bob. W what do I do? Hmm, okay. Uh, uh, well, how about this? You play the guitar. Bob, I don't have any hand. Oh, right. Okay, okay. Uh, you play this. Oh, I don't want to play that. I look silly. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Nope, not gonna do it. It's for the kids. Oh, okay. But they better not laugh. Okay, well, it's time now. You better go on out there. Have we got a show for you. Son of Phoenix, Arizona, who writes... Dear Bob and Larry, I am six years old. Sometimes I think there are monsters in my closet. That makes me real scared. Can you help me? It can't be done. I don't believe you can do it. Well then, stand back and behold as I throw this switch! It's alive! Alive! <laughs> stand! Oh my goodness! Look how big it is! Speak! Ah. Walk to me! No, this way! Oh, look at it going! The front what? I'm Bob. I'm a tomato, and I'm here to help you. There's, There's a monster. Ah, uh, it's a cucumber. Over here, Larry. <clears throat> we couldn't help but notice that you were just a little bit frightened, so we thought we'd drop. There's a hundred tiny monsters jumping right into your jammy. And that's why we don't have to be afraid. You see, everything God makes is very special to him. He made us always looking out for us. So are you frightened? No, not really. Are you worried? He's bigger than Godzilla or the monsters on TV. What's up? Long, long ago, in a faraway land, there lived a young man named Daniel. When Daniel was a boy, he was taken from his home in Judah to live in a city called Babylon, where he went to school in the palace of the Babylonian king. Daniel missed his home very much, and every day he prayed that God would take care of his family and his friends and look after him too. God heard his prayers and helped Daniel become wise as he grew older till everyone in the palace knew of his wisdom. Then one night, while Babylon was sleeping, the king had a dream. As men would have to... The very next morning, the wise men appeared before King Darius. Everyone in Babylon heard about the new law, including Daniel. But Daniel also knew God's law, and God's law told him that he should only pray to God. Uh -oh. Oh! Him. Or one will lie on him while another one maybe eats him. Or, well, maybe one will sit what, on like him. What, like lights are going to cooperate? Like one's going to lie on him and say, hey, you eat him, I'll lie on him. Come on, we're the ones that are lying, not the lions. Fear not, Daniel. Even though he still didn't know what to expect, Daniel felt bad. Well, 
One pound of ground beef, three slices of... Uh, QWERTY, this is a recipe for meatloaf. That's not a verse. Okay, here we go. And God said in Isaiah 41.10, So do not fear, for I am with you. Hmm. So